Hello, Squally Bobcat here with my new Minecraft series. Um, it's not just normal Minecraft, this is Feed the Beast. Now, if you've never played Feed the Beast, what it is is a collection of mods, a mod pack, uh, lots and lots of different mods in it. There's most of the mods from Tekkit, if you've ever played Tekkit, things like build craft, industrial craft, things like that, they're all in here, forestry. Um, it has a couple of extras like Thorncraft, which is magic based, and things like the map in the corner, that's Ray's mini map with an added mob detector. Um, oh god, there are a lot of mobs underneath my house as you can see. Are they all in my house? Ooh better check. Um, I haven't really done much. I've, all I've done is actually make this house because um, I spawned in the forest back there in the autumn woods biome um, which comes from the extra biome mod pack um, and I just sort of walked through and collected wood as I went and I don't have much left thanks to building this uh, but I wanted a nice big house to start off with rather than having to update it. Um, ooh. Hole in front of my house, I have to remember about that. Make sure I don't walk into it. Um, this is a savannas biome that I've built in. Which is nice and flat. Perfect for a quarry that we will eventually set up around here somewhere. Um, I'm going to mainly be focusing on build craft and forestry I think because I've never been very good at the industrial craft things like all the different machines and everything I'm not that good at figuring out what connects to what and how that all works so build craft and forestry which quite simple or at least simpler for me to pick up um, oh got some glass in here um, yeah, I haven't really got much. This is everything I have. Uh, yes, it does have too many items. In fact, I'm going to turn that off. Yeah. Um, this is everything I have. These are all the different saplings that you get from the autumn woods. Uh, I found a rubber tree, which I don't know whether it'll help or not because I don't think... I think Buildcraft uses this, but I'm not sure. Is that, that's in, no, that's industrial craft. This uh, rubber board is in Joshua Craft. Um, so I don't think I'll actually use these. Unless I absolutely need to. Um, got some of these which I think are from forestry. Things like corn seeds. Hen Hennequin? What's Hennequin? I know a lot of the forestry stuff is based on real uh, plants. Like these are actual trees you find in savannas in Africa. Um, purple flower, leaf piles, there's not much that I have that's different at the minute. Um, that in there. Those are the wood planks because I chopped down one of the trees that was next to the house. Um, I've got a little bit of coal, a little bit of sugar cane, just put everything away. Um, put this glass away. Put away some of the food. Um, I found quite a few apples when I was out. Yeah, I'm going to try and make this series a little bit more enjoyable to watch. Uh, I'm going to try and keep an eye on how long I've been recording a bit better. Um, so yeah, um, I haven't got to bed, unfortunately, so I can't sleep through this night. I can, however, look on my map and see how many creepers have spawned around me. Oh dear lord. You see some you see how some of the creepers have darker faces than the others? That means they're um underground or further beneath me than the others. Any of them with really light, really bright faces means they're quite close to the surface. It's a little bit hard to tell with spiders, um but creepers, skeletons and zombies are pretty easy to tell. Endermen I haven't really run across enough endermen sort of having them on the surface or below me to really say. Silverfish do not show up on this. They don't show up at all. Um, 
I know because the first time I ever ran it at Silverfish was when I was practicing on here um, and they didn't show up on that map no way um, yes let's go out let's have a look is there any this is skeleton over there and you can see it on the map you can see a creeper moving Closer to my house. It's actually quite hard to tell, even though it's nice and a nice bright. See, that creeper's all the way over there, but it looks like it's right next to me. Skeleton walking underneath me, and it it just makes me a little bit terrified. Um, to be honest, I know it's meant to help, but it just makes me terrified of where I am. Uh, one thing I am gonna do before I set out because I always I'm always wanting a crafting table when I'm down mining which is what I'm going to do soon in fact I'll just take everything um, I'm going to make a pocket crafting table which is part of Greg Tech I think I can't remember I'm quite new to a lot of these mods so I don't really remember sort of what comes from what mod um, I'm not even that experienced with industrial craft and build craft to be honest, just sort of played on it a little bit. But if I right click while I hold this, I have a crafting table. It turns the these last few slots into a crafting table. So this is my normal inventory space. But these nine spaces are now a crafting table. Um does mean that if my inventory was full I couldn't actually do anything. Um, but if my inventory is only half full, it will come in handy. So, just exit out of that. Keep that on me. Um, yeah, I think the main priority really is going to be coal and wool. I'm gonna need some of that. Um, take some dirt with me. Um, no, I won't take these sticks with me. And plenty of trees around. Uh, Cause I'm gonna go hunting for wool and coal. It should be quite well. The, wool, the coal should be quite near the surface. The wool will definitely be on the surface because it's from sheep. Um, just wait for this night to be over. Oh God, Enderman. Um, yeah, let's wait for this night to be over, and I'll see you in a minute. Right, dawn is coming, and oh. God, uh, spider. Right, dawn's coming, and it looks like I need to go and clear the area. Go away! Do more come out. <laughs> um, that's the unfortunate part of the unfortunate thing to how I've built my house. It means that spiders stay hostile underneath it because they're not in the daylight. Oh god. Um make sure there's no skeletons around the back or anything. Apologies if my fighting's a little off at times. My frame rate is dropping every now and then. Um so it makes it a little bit hard to see. Right. Um I think we're gonna go mining here because here is where I started making a little staircase down to get some cobble before. Um, what are the seeds? Flax seeds, alright. Um, just pop down here. Ooh, God, don't fall off. Why did I make the stick? It's so close to the edge. Ooh, I think I saw a spider. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, I will have a bit of mining in this purely because there are so many different types of ores and things and I'll show you a couple of them in a second. Don't have to worry about you. Do have to worry about you though. Oh my frame rate though which means this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh god, just got back in time. Um yes. Anyway, on to a few of the different things. Oh god, I haven't got many torches. Um my axe shafts go back for wood. 
Yeah, probably am. Um, I'll get this. I'll get some of this stuff that's down here, like this iron and stuff, and I'll pop back up in a second. Um, yeah. So we've got normal iron, which most of you will have seen before, unless you've never played Minecraft. In which case, this is iron. Right. We've got normal iron, and a lot of this stuff around here, um, I can actually take with a stone pickaxe. Surprisingly. These are hang on, red zyclorum. I think that's how you say it. And um, they're for Zycraft pack. Um, I haven't really looked into that. Don't really know what you do. I know you make blocks out of the crystals that you collect, but honestly, that's it. Get in there. That's all I know. Copper, which is part of normal ticket, so if you've played ticket before you'll recognise that. I've only got the ordinary texture pack on because, well, uh, the other texture pack didn't want to download for me, and to be honest my frame rate is quite low at the minute, so it would probably slow it down even more having that texture pack on, because it's a high definition texture pack. Anyway, break this. The, now this, this is cinnabar ore. Oh god, it's gone. It will give you quicksilver. Oh god, I haven't got any armor, so this is kind of suicide. Double suicide when your frame rate drops and you can't see where you're going. I'm just going to back out of here for a second. So if the zombie I can hear does come up, he's going to burn. Anyway, back to what I was saying. This is cinnabar ore. Um, if you smelt it, you will get quicksilver. I don't know what that does yet, but I will find out. Um, oh god, arrow there. This. Now this here is... Hang on, we'll get this dirt first. This is a water-infused block. And if you break it, you get a water shard. Now these shards are used in Thorncraft, which is a magic basin. Oh god, I've got an arrow in my head. Um, there it goes. Yeah, these are used in Thorncraft for magic, and you need a lot of those shards. So if you want to do Thorncraft, you'll have to collect as many as you possibly can. This is quartz, I believe. I have done some practice on this, so I do know a few things yet. Yeah. Quartz and quartz dust. Um, I can't remember what these are used for, to be honest. Um, I'll have to look that up later for you. Or you can look at it yourselves. That's uh, sapphire. It's from normal Techit. Oh, lots of coal. I can hear nasties, but I don't know where they are. See, I don't have any. I don't have any armor of any kind. I think. I think he's down there. Please let him stay there. Oh god, I don't like that at all. Yeah, this is we've got some coal here, and then around the coal, all this stuff is marble, which, to be honest, is just used as building material and nothing else. God, I can hear him so close so many mobs in under here that I can't actually see where he's coming from. If you looked at the map, it's ridiculous. According to the map, I should have creepers, you know, sitting on my head. I'm going to get this coal. Get this iron. Iron is good. Iron is... Okay, there was a creeper there. That gave me a small heart attack. Oh my god. Uh, this is the problem with having so many mobs around you. You can't tell where they're coming from or anything. It's mind the copper for me, but Jesus, that was... Oh, my heart's racing. Oh. Quartz crystals, another new thing that I was going to show you, but kind of 
it got shown to you by that lovely creeper. Oh, get to try and get over that. Now another cool thing about the Ray's mini map is if you go down below a certain level, it will show you tunnels and things on that level. You can just about see it underneath where that little collection of skeletons are towards the bottom. You see little tunnels, and you can see there's a little bit of lava next to a zombie and things. It just sort of shows you rel the rough layout around you. And I don't think I'm going to... I'm going to come back for that sapphire and everything when I have an iron pickaxe, but... I think I'm going to make my own mine, so I'm less likely to be surrounded by mobs completely. Uh, yeah, let's just go, really. I don't like it down here. <laughs> Don't even remember where we came in. How I got in. Up here? Yeah, it looks the way. Right way. Sorry, my frame rate keeps dropping, so it's a little bit hard sometimes for me to just tell what I'm doing. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> hate creepers. I always seem to attract them as well. The server I play everywhere, just creepers love me. Pop these crystals and everything away. And then we'll smelt that iron. That way. Let's put that away for now. Um oh, this is a thing I'll show you. Um you see when I shift click on things, or hold shift and hover over them. Um, it doesn't do it for everything, it mostly does it, it won't really do it for marble and basalt and things like that. But for a lot of things it will show you little symbols. These are part of Filmcraft, these are the different types of energy that each thing has. Um, a lot of the extra biome things don't work, these are all extra biome things. But the vanilla Minecraft, Industrial Craft, Buildcraft, they all have it. And apparently Zycraft has it. Here, here. Let's see, a water shard has water energy, ice energy, magic energy, and crystal energy. Glass has crystal energy. String has beast, cloth, and binding. Bone has flesh and death. Flesh and death for rotten flesh and dirt for dirt. Copper has metal, uh, I think that's an exchange symbol, and stone, because it's encased in stone. But yeah, so I know some of these because I have messed around on creative in a different world to find out how Thomcroft works, because you need so many different things for it. Um, if you don't have it in creative, you have to have a ridiculous amount of stuff. Um, yeah. Right, so, what I'm going to do is smelt this iron. And two for it. I usually try and get things in sets of eight, so eight, sixteen, you know, twenty-four, thirty-two, all of that, because it saves waste on coal because one piece of coal do eight pieces of whatever you have and if you have ex you have less than that it means you basically waste coal for a bit so is there anything I can cook? I'll use it to cook the pork chops because this should be enough to do all this iron plus a, couple, a few pork chops Um, yeah I'll be back in a minute when all of this is smelted E two one and done. Right, so I've got my smelted iron, I've fished off the pork chops, and unfortunately I've also run out of time. I've been going for about twenty minutes now doing all this, twenty, twenty five minutes, and there's not much I'm gonna be cutting. So this is gonna be quite a lengthy intro video. Um a lot of the videos are probably gonna be about fifteen, twenty minutes because, let's face it, 10 minutes of Minecraft, you can't really do that much. It takes quite a while. Um, I'm going to go off and do a load of mining off camera, 
get a load of stuff and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.